Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing some really cool upgrades today on the boat. Check it out. Okay, what we're going to be uh, putting in are the Lee's 30 degree flush mount rod holders. Got all the backing plates here and the hardware. Uh, you can pick this stuff up on Amazon and uh, I believe uh, the rod holder plus the backing plate, I think it was probably right around $100. So we're going to be putting four of these in. And you got to basically measure out, figure out exactly where you want them spaced apart. Uh, these are going to match the other rod holders on the boat. So we're just going to be putting four additional in the bow. Hold that because I don't want to skip across your boot. All right. There it is. That's simple. Hey, another hole. Two inch bitch is a little too small. Oh, look at that, perfect. Wow. But see where the screw holes are? If you don't yeah. get it too big, not enough meat. There's no meat left, yeah. Looks good. Then you can Come. kind of adjust it a little bit. A little bit. Is that how you want it? Yeah, I think so. Go straight out, and you want them slightly tell it back. I think straight out. That's what That looks pretty, pretty good to me. Yeah, looks really good. I mean, I can drill the holes in here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now here's what we took out of the cap. This is the thickness of the cap where we mounted the, the rod holders, and it's, it's almost an inch thick. It's pretty strong. I think it's really strong. And there are numerous layers of fiberglass there on the top, this being the top, and probably only about two, maybe three layers underneath, which is actually fine. Um, and then you have the foam core and that's why through bolting is so important because screws aren't going to hold into that foam core. When you have a bolt with a backing plate, it's going to be much stronger. Okay, this is the, um, the rod holders installed. I think they turned out pretty good. So now I have three on each side in the bow. Now unfortunately we weren't able to uh, videotape the, um, the bolting through process because some bad weather rolled through and we had to kind of stop. And we were uh, hurting for time but I'm going to show you some of the benefits or one benefit of having a three-piece hull. And that's being able to through bolt and use a backing plate on your rod holders. So with a three-piece hull, you have access underneath for under gunnel lighting, through bolting your rod holders, and uh, anything else you might want to install underneath there, uh, whether it be even be additional rod racks or gaff storage. Um, that's a pretty enormous area there and um, it's something that you just don't get on a two-piece haul. Okay, so a two-piece haul, what is that? That's the haul itself and the deck and liner. And it's bonded together at the rub rail, whether it's screws or other types of fasteners. Uh, that's basically it. Then you obviously have your center console and anything else that's mounted to your liner. Now with this boat being a three-piece haul, I have a haul, a deck, and a cap, all right? And the cap is, you know, basically what we were drilling into. This being the cap here that 
runs all the way around the boat. Okay, it also adds strength. And, um, you know, they're a little bit more expensive than a two piece haul because there's more work involved in building a boat that's three piece. So it's something to consider. You know, if you're looking to uh, get into boating, fishing, or upgrade what you have, you know, maybe consider a three piece haul. Okay, so what Contender has done is they've bonded their cap to the hull and liner. This being the liner and the hull being on the, the outside of that. And they basically fused it all together, all right, the fiberglass, probably 1708 or 1808 mat. And they have like these stringers. So they have fasteners up in here. If you look closely, you can see probably the ends of some screws, some fasteners, and heavy glass mat. So it's very strong, very strong. And there's something else you can mount underneath your gunnel cap or speakers. Kind of keeps them out of the weather, they'll last a little bit longer. Okay, so now the boat has a total of six rod holders up in the bow. That's really going to enhance the fishability of the boat. And, you know, when it comes time to deep drop or bottom fish or even kite fish, it's just going to be easier. You know, I do these videos to try and show people, you know, what I'm doing and maybe to just give just a little bit of motivation. So that's mainly the purpose of it, you know, so I listen, I appreciate all my subscribers, um, you know, the channel's beginning to grow, thanks to you, and um, just want to send a thank you out there. Take care.